OK, so you're sure that I'm going to look as cool as Harry Styles, yeah? Yeah? OK, I'm, I'm going to look as good as Harry Styles. It's going to be great. OK, all right, let's do it. Let's go. Maybe we can find a place to be happy and make us find a way to show kindness and we can do... Oh, oh, oh. it's... Uh, it's ruined. I tried so hard. I was going to look like Harry Styles. Look, I've got the... I've got the... Oh, it's all ruined. It was my Harry Potter, a Harry Styles moment. I was going to look so cool. Let's give... Look, see, I even had my... my bow tie all set. I had the dance routine. I had the musician. I had the dance... Honestly. Oh. Hello, St Nick's. Good to see you. I'm Father Gary. I'm not Harry Styles, I'm Father Gary. But it's good to meet you and be with you today. I'm leading an assembly about kindness. Let's have a go at exploring kindness. But first of all, before we do anything else, we should set um, a candle into this holy space. So, let us light a candle together and we say together the words that Jesus told us, which is, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. And so we'll put this candle down safely over there. Right, so kindness. How do we talk about kindness? I know you've been speaking about the fruits of the Spirit and what happens with the fruits of the Spirit, and we've spoken about those. Look, there's St. Paul up there. Can you see him? St. Paul looking a little bit grumpy, to be honest. But, um, but Paul came up with these ideas, St. Paul. Uh, he says that the fruits of the Spirit, which come from God, are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Is that right? Is that right? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's right. And today we're looking at kindness. We're wondering about what kindness means. Well, what does kindness mean? Well, of course, we kind of get an idea. I'm saying it right now, kind of get an idea. And we realise that being kind is good. It's the stuff that Mr Harvey has spoken about earlier in the week and showed us, uh, well, the wonderful video from Harry Styles, which obviously isn't a shade on my Harry Styles type video, my dance routine, but, um, but it's, he's helped us think about showing kindness. Those Random acts of kindness that Mr. Harvey has spoken about as well have been really interesting to think about. Random acts of, even unprovoked, why not just be kind to someone? How lovely is that? What a really good idea. And we've realised that kindness is almost, in a strange way, like an infection. If you pass it on, usually people pass it on to someone else. So we do something kind to one person, it can go to someone else, it can be spread around. So the whole world could be fooled with kindness, which would be wonderful. But how does that work? I tell you the thing that I do, let me introduce you to one of my friends. Hello. Yes, it's, it's me in a mirror. Hello. See, I don't have that many friends, really. But um, hello, everyone. Um, I sometimes think about how do we show kindness by thinking about a mirror, because I sometimes think, well, if I'm going to do something, what would that be like to someone else? So in other words, if I wanted to be smiley and happy and say, hey, nice to see you, how do they feel? Oh, well, I feel very good, actually. Thank you very much. I'm glad you asked. But I could also be like really horrible and mean and nasty. And then how would they feel? <laughs> I'm not very happy at all. So. So there's a sense of kindness, and I think about the mirror often because I think, well, what will my actions look like to someone else? How would they feel? And how would I want them to feel? It's interesting, isn't it? Your motto at St Nick's School is, love your neighbour as yourself. And I think that's what this mirror is all about, is about offering kindness. And we can do kindness in all sorts of ways. It's treating other people, this one over here, in the way that we would like to be treated. So, we've spoken about fruits of the spirit. What about fruit and nuts? Hey, over there in the mirror, would you like some chocolate? Oh, that's very kind, thank you very much. See, it works like that. 
That makes me really happy. I might even go and offer something kind to someone else. Well, that's really good, isn't it? I could also say, would you like me to hit you on the head very hard with a piece of chocolate that's come from the fridge? And they go, oh no, that's horrible. So not being kind is not nice. And that probably makes people feel nasty about other people. So being kind is passed on. We share good things with other people. And let's be honest, who doesn't like a bit of chocolate? And getting that passed on, it makes you feel so good, doesn't it? It makes me, I love chocolate. I love it. It's like, I love chocolate so much. Who doesn't love chocolate? So that's my thinking about the mirror and thinking about how our actions would affect other people. What does it look like if you look in the mirror and see those actions taking place? What do I look like? What do my acts of kindness look like to other people? What does my hair look like? And I was thinking about this. So this sense of kindness can be spread across the whole world. And it can go. We can, in a sense, share chocolate with everyone. We can think about the environment. We can think about being kind to our neighbours. And then that makes us become kind to all the people of the world. Sometimes people we've never even met by giving to charities or helping people out in other ways, doing jumble sales and things like that. And that kindness really does make a difference. I've shown you a bar of chocolate. There's something special about chocolate. A story you may not know. Can you see the name on the front of the chocolate? Of course, it's a really famous name. It's Cadbury's. But did you know this? That Cadbury's was set up in the 19th century by a man called John Cadbury. There is John Cadbury. And uh, he started making chocolate and selling it in a tea room. And soon after, his family, his young two, two young sons, also started making chocolate for him. And they took the business on. And of course, the business grew and grew and grew and became so popular that, well, it's the chocolate that we all love to have today. But the thing that was special about the Cadbury's people is that they wanted to, when they built a big factory, they wanted to treat their staff with kindness. They wanted to treat them well. And that wasn't the case in those days in factories. People would be treated really badly and really horribly. And these people, they said, no, we don't want to be like that. We want to be kind. We want to look after the people. So they set up houses for people to, who worked for them to go and live in. And in fact, they then built whole villages that people could live in. There would be places where you could go and see the doctor and have health care, places where you could save up money for your future. They were really kind and generous. Their kindness had a big impact. And think for one minute, St. Nick's. What would it be like to work for a company like that? When you're being treated with so much kindness and people down the road in that other factory, they're just treated like dirt, it's horrible. How does that make you feel? Have a think. Well, if it was me, and I wonder what you think, I would think I would really want to work for these people. I want to honour them as well. And I want to be kind back to the company. So I'll work hard for them because they're kind to me. And so the Cadbury's influence is a really big influence of kindness in business. And it's left a big imprint for all sorts of businesses. In fact, here's another Cadbury bar. Do you know, I said that they built villages. Do you know the name of the village? The village that they built was called Bourneville. So they named the village Bourneville. And this chocolate bar, if you ever see it in Tesco's or Sainsbury's or all other shops which are available, of course, and you see a bar of Bourneville, then that's named after their village. So there's a piece of history in my hand, but it's not going to be here for much longer because I'm going to and eat all that up as well. So there we are, kindness. Kindness, we spread kindness, we share it and think about the effects that sharing kindness gives to other people. It's what St Paul is talking about. And that kindness is given out and shared with the world and brings the life and love of God into the world. But there's one other thing that we can do because when I think about kindness, it's often about saying, well, we should be kind to other people. Mm, yes, it's really good to be kind to other people. But, you know, there's one person that we're also not very good at being kind to. And that's also, what, me? Yes, you. What, really, me? Yes. We're not good at being kind to ourselves, are we? Very often we can be hard. Do you remember at the beginning when I did my Harry Styles dance routine, which in my mind was going to be perfect, and then I got cross and frustrated, and I 
got so frustrated with myself. But actually, we need to be kind to each other. I did my best. I was trying my best. Probably looked a bit silly, but never mind. We all need to be kind to each other. And when you're, say, at St. Nick's and you're in the playground, it's kind of hard sometimes to be kind to ourselves. There are so many pressures when you're a young person. Social media as well and all those things and the pressures and things that are going on inside your head. It's very easy not to be kind to yourself. But think about it. If we're saying if we are given kindness and we can share kindness to others, how about this? If we think in this assembly that God, who is the source of all love and kindness, loves us, loves you, loves me, even with my Harry Styles dancing, if God loves all of us and treats us with kindness, then maybe there's a kindness that we can give to each other. And that's really important, especially for us when we're young, to be kind to ourselves as well. So there we are. We are done with kindness. And I hope you've enjoyed the assembly. I'm going to work on my dance routine a bit more and see if I can make it a bit better. But I will remember to be kind to myself on the way. So will you please join with me as we say a prayer? And we say, dear God, we thank you for all the people that show us kindness and for the ways that, can help, that they help us. Help us to show kindness to others and help us to show kindness to ourselves. Amen. And please join with me as we say the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, brilliant. So all that's left is for us to blow out our candle and to share this light, this light of kindness in the world. As Mr. Harvey said, in the playground, in the shops, with our families, with our brothers and sisters, with our parents and carers, with anyone we can. Just show a little bit of kindness and also to yourself. Loving God, help me to shine like a light in the world. Amen.